Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be discussing about the anatomy of the inferior vena cava in terms of its formation, course, termination, relations and also tributaries of the inferior vena cava. So first we will be discussing about inferior vena cava. It is the largest and widest vein of the body. It is one of the largest and also widest vein of the body and it drains most of the blood from the body below the diaphragm and finally it will drain into the right atrium that we know commonly. So what about the formation? The inferior vena cava is formed by the union of the right and the left common iliac veins. We have the right, com right common iliac vein and then we have the left common iliac vein and they finally join to become the inferior vena cava. This is the right common iliac vein and this is the left common iliac vein and they will include the external iliac veins and the internal iliac veins along both the sides and they will join to become the inferior vena cava. This is at the level of the L5 vertebra. So, it ascends in front of the vertebral column on the right side of the aorta and then it will arch forward uh, on the right cross of the diaphragm. Finally, it will end by uh, terminating into the right atrium of the heart. So, that is the, about the formation and the course. So, what about relations of the inferior vena cava? So, anteriorly we have the root of the mesentery, the right and the right testicular or ovarian artery. We have the third part of the duodenum head of the pancreas and the bile duct and also we have portal vein on the anterior side. So what about the posterior side of the inferior vena cava? We have the right sympathetic chain and also we have the right renal artery, right celiac ganglion, we have the right suprarenal artery and also the right inferior phrenic artery and right middle suprarenal vein. So they are the posterior relations of the inferior vena cava and these are the anterior relations of the inferior vena cava. So finally about the uh, tributaries of the inferior vena cava tributaries so what do we have in the tributaries firstly we have three formative veins three formative veins and they are the two common iliac veins and the medial sacral vein two common iliac veins and the one median sacral vein median sacral vein and they are the three formative veins and afterwards we have three abdominal wall tributaries the second and we have three abdominal wall tributaries and what are they they are the inferior phrenic vein and third and the fourth lumbar veins inferior phrenic vein and also we have third and the fourth lumbar veins as well lumbar veins so they are the three abdominal wall tributaries and these are the three formative veins and also we have three lateral visceral tributaries as well we have three lateral visceral tributaries and they are the right suprarenal vein the renal veins and the right and right testicular or ovarian vein the right suprarenal vein suprarenal vein and also we have renal veins and then we have the right testicular or ovarian vein so basically if you remember these are all the arteries and those corresponding veins are draining into the inferior vena cava these are the corresponding arteries of the abdominal aorta and finally what do we have we have the three anterior visceral tributaries they are the right middle and the left hepatic veins the right middle and the left hepatic veins so quickly revising the three formative veins they are the two common iliac veins and the one middle sacral vein then we have three abdominal wall tributaries they are the inferior phrenic vein and third and the fourth lumbar vein then we have three lateral visceral tributaries they are the right suprarenal vein renal vein and the right testicular or ovarian vein and finally we have three anterior visceral tributaries they are the right middle and the left hepatic veins so if i just draw about the inferior vena cava like this so basically it is formed by the uh, right common iliac vein and the left common iliac vein and here we have the median sacral vein and the, about the three uh, three abdominal water tributaries they are the inferior phrenic vein and also we have the third and the fourth lumbar veins like this then we have three lateral visceral tributaries right they are the suprarenal vein the renal vein and also about the right testicular or ovarian vein and finally we have the um, three anterior visceral tributaries they are the right middle and the left hepatic veins these veins are coming from the portal vein that you need to remember and this is about the inferior vena cava its uh, formation course and termination the relations and also about complete 
tributaries of the inferior vena cava. So thank you guys, thank you for watching. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and also share it among your friends. Thank you so much.